You're really interested in the invention process in inventing something and what I'm doing and how it helped me because it literally makes me wake up every single morning with a smile on my face. I wasn't a happy camper and now I am doing great. So I have a lot of information. If you suffer from anything that has head related or anything else, like some type of pain, I can help you out. Of course, I need to let you know that I am not selling any medical related um, device. I'm not selling anything that solves a condition or a disease. You can read the disclaimer. I am selling a feedback switch kit made for inventors and hackers that really want to make a difference in their life. So when I first had stomach sleeping, I put a tennis ball inside of my shirt. And when I laid on my tennis ball, I flipped back over. The reason why stomach sleeping is bad is you basically have to turn your neck all the way to the side. And when you do that, and, you, and, and then your neck is twisted up and down based on the pillow, you're really going to be messing up your cervix spine. That's why I'm currently getting treatment called NUCA. It's, an, it's a special treatment for the uh, your C1 and C2 atlas and axis, and that will realign it. And that is going fantastic. So my conditions are I have tinnitus and I had some bruxism and everything else like that. And what I am going to talk to you about is how I use this feedback switch for side sleeping first. The feedback switch comes in two different versions. It comes in a 90 degree version that you can plot. You can actually put like Stuart, do you mind? Now, of course, this is not a medical device, nor is it solving any type of disease or condition, but it also is holistic, which means it's just a feel good type of device that's relaxing. So what you want to do for side sleeping is that if you have a side that you don't want to sleep on, okay, you want to get something cool like this captain strap here, okay? This little captain thing that's made for rugby. And you want to put it on there. Maybe you have some cool biceps like I have. I haven't worked out in a little bit. And you put this on here. And then you, what you do is you take the flat version of the feedback switch, the one that's flat and it vibrates. It has two little batteries in it that seem to last forever. And you put this in the, on the side of that you don't want to sleep on. And as you're sleeping on that side, it will gently vibrate and let you know that, hey, move over to the other side or you're going to wake up not a happy camper. If you want to, I'm going to leave this on because I know it looks cool. Let's say that you wanted to sl you sleep on your stomach and you're moving your head all the way to the right like this and you know you're going to wake up with a headache. What you want to do for your stomach sleeping is potentially use some tape. All right. For other things that you would have, let's say that you wanted to, you, you were wanted just to move a position. You, you could actually use a, um, if let's say you were an active sleeper and you moved around a lot. Okay. What you could do is you could actually take something like this because you're supposed to breathe out of your nose anyways. You could actually take something like this and hold it in different places. Now, you're supposed to breathe out of your nose because it produces nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is, has a calming effect. So there's such a thing, if you Google it, and I'll put the link below to mouth tape. Mouth tape makes you not breathe out of your mouth. It's not good to breathe out of your mouth. Your nose is what you were intended to breathe out of. And so it forces you to breathe out of your fat. So you can actually hold in the feedback switch with that. Okay, so what comes in the kit? So there's two different versions. There is the flat version that I've used for to adjust my side sleeping and my stomach sleeping that is really helping out my neck. And by the way, I have a bunch of links below the pillow that I use and some other things. And I'm really excited to be able to share that because I wasn't really a happy camper. I would just wake up uncomfortable and it was really miserable. So, all right. So whether or not you get the 90 degree version or the flat version, the kit has a flexible material that holds three different well-built switches that are made with lead free. And it is a th thing that it's taking me a long time to figure out. When I look at my 200 different prototypes that I've made, that's mainly the big accomplishment besides learning Fusion 360 and 3D printing is these switches. These switches will fit inside of this moisture resistant container that is really strong. 
And when you press down on it, it activates a tiny vibration motor similar to a cell phone. In that cell phone is enough that if you feel your phone vibrate inside of your pocket, it's that same exact feeling. That is actually caused by a slight pressure. A normal pressure, uh, maybe not so much, but just the right amount of pressure activates this vibration motor. That is included in the kit. You will have to attach this switch housing with the battery housing, whether or not you get the flat version for side sleeping or the 90 degree version that Stuart used. If you look at the design of the battery housing that holds the battery, and it actually holds the vibration motor, you will see two ports on each side. What those ports are for is one is an optional data tracker. So you can track the amount of presses and the duration of the presses. Those go to an SD card and it monitors it using a computer and you can put that CSV file in and you can look at the data, how much you slept on one side or not, or how many times it, the switch was actually activated, which may be really important for you because you may find that, oh, when I have a couple beers, I, my switch count is 50. Or when I go for an exercise, I have less um, of a switch count or the duration of the switch account, or it's actually gotten better. I no longer need this. I'm now sleeping on the side that I want. Switching sides is healthy. The other port is to add an additional modality for the feedback. So let's say the one modality is vibration and you want to add something like the room tur light turning on or maybe an additional vibration pack that was down by your feet to alert you because maybe you are a very deep sleeper or you went to bed drunk and you want to wake up and you don't want to do that behavior or sleep on your side anymore. When you press it, it vibrates everywhere. You can hook that up and you can spider it and hook up as many feedback devices as possible. Basically a switch which activates another type of sensor like a vibration motor. Sensors can go back and forth as far as I'm concerned. So the switch will also come with a particular shell that holds a moldable plastic that I have linked below that's BPA free. You put that in and you can mold it to anything like I mentioned. Stu Stuart has a few things that we can mold it to. What are you missing? So in the tutorial video that's included with the feedback switch kit, I am going to talk to you about this product called the Bruxane to go, a product I bought from Germany that had a battery that you put inside of your mouth. What ha what this did is when you clenched, it really lightly vibrated and it wasn't really noticeable, but mainly it was a huge choking hazard because you put this inside of your mouth all the way with the lithium battery inside of your mouth. You need to have that on the outside. And when you bit down, it vibrated, okay? Yeah, sound familiar? Here's where the thing was. After two days, it worked. I woke up without headaches. It was incredible. I felt good, but the, on the third day I use it, I clenched so hard, I bit it in half. So I felt like, why am I, putting a battery in my mouth, but it worked. You can't buy this anymore. They no longer make it. I'll put the link down in Amazon and in, in uh, Germany, but you can't buy it. I'm going to explain to you in detail about how this is made and how they use Vilostat and everything about this product. We're going to dissect that product. I'm also going to talk to you about what I learned from all of my prototypes, including burning plastic and everything else. Everything I learned, I'm going to talk to you all about that 
in that mini course that's in the feedback switch kit. I'm also gonna talk to you about the mold types, what, what types of molds are used and how to attach it to almost anything that you want. We're going to discuss this particular device, which is called Grind Care. Grind Care is a little packet that you wear, and what happens is if it senses that you have muscle contractions, it will give feedback with a TENS unit, which will disrupt your clenching. So this is called Grind Care. It's a product that you needed a prescription for, but we can learn from it and we can use it and figure out how can we make something better. I'm also going to talk to you about a product that I, that I really I really liked and you could use. And this product was all over the place. This is a headband. I'm going to tell you what I liked about this product and what I didn't. This product is called the uh, Sleep Guard, and it measures your clench count. We're going to talk all about that. I'm going to give you more tips on terms of how placement, how you hold it. I'm going to talk to you more about the tape battery longevity and about replacing parts and of course the full tutorial on how to assemble your feedback switch kit. So anyways, I hope this helps. This is dear to my heart because it's really helped me out. I've learned all types of things about cutting out vinyl, making PCB boards, operating things, fusion. This has been a long road. You can tell from all of my prototypes that this means a lot to me and I want to share it with you. Take care. Whatever you do, make something that connects someone. Bye.